Hello students. Today we will discuss basics of operations research. During this session we will discuss genesis of operations research, how operations research is evolved, various definitions of operations research, characteristics of operations research, various phases of operations research, models and models used in operations research and scope of operations research and applications of operations research. Let's start with basic definitions of operations research. What is operations research? Operations research is advanced analytical methods to help make better decisions. So operations research is an useful tool to managers to take better decisions. It is also said that operations research encompasses wide range of problem solving techniques and methods applied for improved decision making. So operations research is a nothing but a bunch of optimization techniques that is used for making better decisions. It is also known as a optimization techniques. Operations research is also known as to get maximum output from available resources while satisfying all the constraints. So since the beginning of the humankind, we are always facing scarcity of resources and also surrounded by so many constraints. Same scenario is observed in industries. So, operations research is a tool that provides maximum output from the given resources while satisfying the all constraints. So, in short, we can say that operations research is a decision making tool that is used, that is used by managers for getting maximum output from the available resources while satisfying all the constraints. Operations research is a bunch of optimization techniques. So the first question arises is that it's a bunch of optimization techniques. Let's see why operations research is known as operations research. Actually operations research is a war baby. During World War II First time British military used operational analysis tool. So in operational analysis tool, they use for Air Force, Navy and Army. So British military used operational analysis tool as an intrinsic part of capability development, management and assurance. Operational analysis supports British defense capability, acquisition and decision making. With the help of the operational analysis tool, British military has made so many decisions in more better way. In Air Force services, operations research helped to reduce the number of anti-aircraft artillery and increase the success rate of aircraft bombing attack. By help of the numerical techniques, they increase the success rate of aircraft bombing attack. It is also used by Navy and by use of operations research techniques, they considerably reduced shipping losses. In Army operations, they substantially increased effectiveness of artillery, aerial bombing and anti tank shooting in Army operations. So, British military has not only used operations research techniques for Air Force, Navy and Army, but they also used for supply chain management and logistics. And by use of these techniques, British Army, British military performed very good in World War II by very less resources and so many constraints. So this is why the name is operations research as the majority of optimization techniques are developed during the World War II. 
In fact, so many techniques of operations research are also used before a World War II, like inventory control. So now next is definitions of OR. Let's see few definitions of operations research. First is operations research is the art of winning wars without actually fighting. So it's do not actually throw light on operations research technique, but the def it is defined on the base of how it is evolved. That operations research is a technique where we can maximum utilize our resources and by utilizing the resources in more better way we can get major output and so without actually fighting the war we can have a situation where we can win the war so another definition is operations research is research into operations here the operations termed in the form of various industrial complex situations, research projects and military operations. Operations research is the art of giving bad answers to problems where otherwise worse answers are given. So operations research is the technique used for very complex problems. Remember this, operations research is always used in complex situations. When the situation is simple and we have answers in easy way, operations research techniques are not advised. It is used in a complex situation when there are so many variables are present and there are so many constraints and within these constraints we have to get some good answer. So operations research is used in a complex situation where if we do not use the operations research the answer is worst one and by utilizing the operations research techniques we have a, some good answers or good output. So it is said that operations research is the art of giving bad answers to the problems where otherwise worse answers are given. Another definition is operations research is the use of scientific methods to provide decision regarding man machine systems involving repetitive operations in complex situations. So operations research is applied mathematical techniques and scientific methods to provide decisions regarding man machine systems involving repetitive operations in complex situations. So it is regarding the applications of operations research in industries and in industrial complex problems. Let's see the more comprehensive definition of operations research given by Operations Society of Great Britain. Operations research is the application of methods of science to complex problems arising in the management of large systems of men, materials and money in industry, business, government and defense. The distinctive approach is to develop scientific model of the system, incorporating measurements of factors such as chance and risk with which to predict and compare the outcome of alternative decisions, strategies and controls. The purpose is to help management to determine its policy and actions scientifically. So this definition is divided into the three part. First part focus on the applications of operations research. Operations research is applied to only complex problems as we have discussed earlier. Complex problem of management in large systems of men, materials and money. And the area of applications are industry, business, government, defense and research and development. Second part of the definition said that it is a scientific model applied mathematic techniques which incorporate measurement of factors such as chance and risk through which predict and compare the outcome of alternative decisions, strategies or control. Operations research provides the multiple decisions that are known as a feasible solutions. 
from which we have to choose a optimum one and last it focus on the purpose of the operations research that to help management to determine its policy and actions scientifically that is for long term as well as for short term so this is operations research now let's discuss characteristics of operations research operations research is an interdisciplinary team approach it means say in any industry there is one problem which is being studied by operations research so for solving this problem the members from purchase department production department utility department maintenance section and marketing all are together and then focus on the problem from the all aspects so it's an interdisciplinary approach operations research increase the creative ability of decision makers operations research focus on the focus on the multiple solutions possible feasible solutions it thinks on different ways and evaluate the results so instead of taking a thumb rule type decision making and conventional decision making operations research focus on creative ability of thinking for decision makers operations research is a system approach as it uh, work in a holistic manner we can say that it is a system approach operations research use scientific method for making decisions operations research is basically a, a bunch of optimization techniques it's a applied mathematic techniques and so it is a scientific way of decision making it's not guessing and predicting operations research has scientific approach it improves the quality of answers to the problem and provide scientific base for decision making operations research provides the effect of various variables on the result we can have a sensitive sensitivity analysis that what is the effect of various variables on the output so on the base of that managers can take better decisions now let's discuss phases of operations research first phase of operations research is formulation of problems so first is to examine the situation and clearly define the situation first focus on the problem and study the problem to identify the variable and constraints within the problems to identify the objectives and put them all in one statement that is known as a formulation of the problem in verbal form to form the problem statement with clear description of objectives of the study identification of variables and restriction of the problem so in this first step of formulation of the problem we convert the situations in the verbal form in very clear and precise way next step is to identify the variables and constraints so in this phase we identify the variables constraints and establish the relationships between the variables and constraints next step is establish relationship between variables and constraints by formulating mathematical problem for example maximize z equal to 2x plus 8y so here x and y are the variable and the problem statement is maximization of z 2x plus 8y subject to the conditions these are our structural constants that x plus y is less than or equal to 400 and 2x plus 3y is less than and equal to 200 both x and y are greater than or equal to 0 these are the non negative constants so it is a formulation of problem into mathematical form after that next step is identify the possible alternative solutions by solving this problem so these are known as a feasible solutions then next step is select the optimal solutions among the possible feasible solutions then test and implement the solution 
so these are the phases of operations research that how operation research techniques work and this is applicable to all techniques of operations research now let's discuss various models of operations research the first is iconic models analog models and symbolic models iconic models are the models which are the scaled version of the actual object so in other sense we can say that these are the prototype for example in our laboratories we have ic engine or boiler models so these are the prototype of actual ic engine or boilers so these are known as iconic models analog model in this model one set of properties are used to represent another set of properties many times we represent various aspects on graph by different colors or different lines all these are analog models for example normally we represent water by blue color so on map water is represented by blue color river sea are represented by blue color so this is a example of analog model another example is warehousing problem and layout problems where we use analog model other model is symbolic or mathematical model this is used in operations research in this models the variables of problem is represented by mathematical symbols letters etc to show the relationship between variables constants we use as a mathematical symbols so in previous form previous uh, discussion we have discussed that in phases of operations research we form the numerical form of problems say maximize z is equal to 2x plus 8y subject to 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 20 so it is an example of mathematical model next is static and dynamic model a static model is one in which the decision variables do not involve sequence of decisions over multiple periods in static model we solve a one shot problem whose solutions prescribe optimal values of decision variables at all points in time so static model do not vary with time once the decision is taken it is applicable for a longer duration of time a dynamic model is a model in which the decision variables do involve sequence of decisions over multiple periods it change with time so that is static and dynamic models another is linear and non linear models suppose that whenever decision variables appear in the objective function and in the constraints of an optimization model the decision variables are always multiplied by constants and added together such a model is a linear model in other sense the relationship between variables is linear the decrease in one variable the effect on another variable is in a linearity form such kind of model is known as a linear form when the relationship is not linear between variables such optimization model is known as a non linear model in operations research we will discuss both linear models and non linear models next is integer and non integer models if one or more decision variables must be integer then we say that optimization model is an integer model for example if the decision variable in the model represent the number of workers in industry then clearly we have an integer model because we cannot have 1.5 worker or 20.2 workers it is either 20 or 21 so such kind of model is known as integer model non integer model in which 
the decision variables are free to assume fractional values then the optimization model is known as non integer model for example volume temperature pressure and percentage composition of raw materials all these are an example of non integer variables in operations research we will discuss both integer and non integer models next is deterministic and stochastic models suppose that for any value of the decision variables the value of objective function and whether or not the constraints are satisfied is known with certainty we then have a deterministic model if this is not the case then the model is stochastic model for example completion time for the construction of 2000 square foot building can be determined because we know that that 10 workers can build this much amount of building or this much amount of volume in one day so with the help of such database such determined database we can calculate the total duration of the project so such kind of uh, model is known as a deterministic model in another sense if a worker can make 10 jobs in one shift then we can say that in five shifts worker can make 50 jobs so it is a deterministic model but the situation where we cannot determine the exact amount of value uh, like in case of seasonable seasonal product and perishable products the amount of sale of the product we cannot exactly determine so such kind of problems are dealt in stochastic model so these are the various models used in operations research now let's discuss scope of operations research after world war 2 so we can say that in post world war 2 operations research is also grew in civilian sector operations research is adopted by industries research and development organizations government and so on so nowadays operations research is used in project planning network planning resource allocations facility locations procurement in assignment problem routing problem scheduling logistic supply chain management city planning football strategies optimizing all facets of industry and economy so operations research is used in almost all area of industries for strategic decisions for software decisions and medium term decisions so as computing technologies develop day by day the use of operations research is also increased because we can easily develop the relationship among various variables and constraints and then we can come to some decisions even operations research can research problem can be solved with uh, hundreds of variables and hundreds of constraints so operations research is used in almost all part of the industries and economy thank you